Ashad from Tunisia. Why many ulama say that we don't have to recite the Fatiha behind the Imam? While uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Do you think you can read it behind the Imam? They said, yes. They said, no, you can't do it only with the Quran. Wajazak. Rashad from Tunisia. Why is there difference of opinion uh, behind the ruling of reciting the Fatiha behind the Imam? Because the hadith of Abu Huraira, and if you go back to Sifatu Salat al-Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the description of the prayer of the Prophet, sallam, which was compiled by a Shaykh al-Imam Muhammad ibn Nasr al-Din al-Albani, may Allah have mercy on his soul. Shaykh al-Albani authenticated the hadith of Abu Huraira, where the Prophet prayed alayhi wa sallam, once, and it was a loud prayer, and after he concluded, he said to the people that something was pulling me inside the prayer and trying to fight over my recitation. Maybe you are reciting behind your imam, meaning while he's reciting. The Prophet says, do not do that except by reciting the Fatiha. So this hadith we all know, and this hadith indicates that reciting the Fatiha while the imam is reciting in loud prayers is okay. Abu Huraira says afterwards, then the people were prohibited from doing that as well. Which means that even the Fatiha and the recitation of it in a, in, in a loud rak'ah was abrogated and the people were told not to do it. And this is the opinion of Imam Malik, that in loud prayers, you don't recite the Fatiha because the Imam's recitation is sufficient for you. In silent prayers, it's a pillar. You must, whether Dhuhr or Asr or the last two rak'ahs of Isha, it is mandatory. It's a must. It's a rukun for you to recite it, and Allah knows best.